We're here inside Terminal E. You know, the president says this terminal, when it was built in the early 70s, it was really only meant to handle a million people or so. And now, more than four times that amount actually make their way through here. He says that's why this infrastructure law is so important here. Hello, Boston. President Joe Biden taking the stage at Logan Airport, where the infrastructure law is making millions of dollars in upgrades possible. Most significant investment since President Eisenhower's interstate highway system. Most of the 62 million in federal funding for Logan is going toward Terminal E, where international passengers come and go. The president says it's outdated for the amount of people it handles. He became fired up over the state of the country's airports. The United States of America, not one airport ranks in the top 25 in the world. What in the hell's the matter with us? The president says improvements will mean more capacity and less congestion, pollution, and flight delays. We're finally getting it done. We're turning infrastructure week and from a punchline that my, was my predecessor into an infrastructure decade on our watch. Senator Elizabeth Warren tweeting out a selfie with the president and Senator Markey saying the much needed funding will help address the climate crisis, infrastructure renovations and expansions and continue to grow the local economy. President Biden thanked the delegation and also gave a nod to Governor Baker. I hope it doesn't hurt your reputation, Go, but you know, when I got started, we all used to be like you and I actually get along, care for each other, treat each other decently, may disagree, but just straight up, we got to return that kind of politics. Well, the governor did say he is grateful for those on both sides of the aisle that did support this infrastructure law. So over the next five years, Massachusetts set to see about $9.5 billion because of that. We're live here at Logan Airport, Sharma Skeddy, WCVB News Center 5.